Hello, and welcome to Battlefleet Gothic Armada. This is the space <coughs> side of the Warhammer 40k universe. I am playing as the Imperials, and I'm going to be running through the campaign. First things first, let's go look at our fleet. The fleet is the ships that I have access to, not the ships that I will have in every battle. The escort ships down here at the bottom are two destroyers. And these are classes destroyers, but really they're frigates. I don't know why the developers decided to reclass them. But the escort ships don't grow, they don't develop, they don't level up. They also are far easier to kill than the normal ships, than the light cruisers, cruisers, etc. So I'm going to try and shy away from using them, simply because I prefer to maximize the effectiveness of my fleet, and that is best done through cruisers. So, as you can see here, I have a couple things I need to do with this ship. I have an upgrade, a skill, and a crew to give it to. So I'm going to go into my upgrades, and there are a lot of upgrades. Increased accuracy, increased range on your lance. Now, the lance here is this prow weapon. Um, does it, no, it won't show it in here. And because it's prow based, it's not going to be the most effective for me because it's only got a 90 degree arc. Armor piercing ammo. My broadside cannons, when firing a point blank, reduce the enemy armor by 25. But it cannot drop below 25. Eh. Lightning strikes deal one additional assault action. Um, assault actions do critical hits and can do a lot of damage to ships. Turbo weaponry, the range of my broadsides is increased by 3,000. Disruption overcharge, ship lance does 50% more damage against shields. Again, front arc only. Fire protection system, fires last 50% shorter. Now that, that could be really valuable. Extra turrets, I get three additional defense turrets against torpedoes and fighters. Belt armor, first, <clears throat> the first permanent critical damage inflicted to a sh system. Deck, weaponry, generator, engines is ignored. Eh, not bad. Power ram isn't an option. Enhanced battle bridge. Now that's important, because your special orders go away if your bridge is destroyed. And your special orders include your maneuvers, and a lot of your extra weapons, and some other stuff, so that could be really useful. Better range, protection... Duration of the f special orders is raised. I don't even use those special orders. I really should. Alright, this is the one I'm going to do. Because it just... 50, 20%... Yeah. 25% chance to just ignore damage. Sure. I'll take it. And then I always do plasma bombs. Because they just... They're great for knocking out enemy ships. Over here, I want... Improved efficiency for emergency repairs. Because emergency repairs are going to be important. And down here we will add this. Okay. So we've got our ships ready. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into that first mission. And we've already got one queued up. Our first mission is up here at Accra. I have some enemies trying to run away. Actually, I'm fighting... Imperial ships, so this is mutineers, uh, deserters. So I'm going to try and stop the deserters from getting away. <laughs> Alright, I have 250 points to deploy. I have to have one light cruiser. And then with the other 141 points, I can just deploy a bunch of escorts, or I can deploy another cruiser. Now, as I said, I'm going to try and avoid escorts because they don't grow with me. The cruisers will grow. They'll get more abilities, more specials, more skills, and better crews. And that's what I'm after. Because the quality of my ship is going to make much more of a difference late game, I feel, than quantity of ship. Okay, let's look at this map real quick. These gas clouds, the blue on the mini-map, 
are cloaking, if you will. Ships moving into them and through them are invisible. Or ships moving through them or sitting in them are invisible. These, the asteroid fields, they'll just damage you. Given the asteroid field here in their deployment zone and here, I feel like they're going to deploy here. So let's deploy counter to them. And we're ready. Now, we will automate a few of my options. Engines Basically telling my ships they can repair fire torpedoes and drop those bombs whenever ready. they want. Alright, we're going to order them forward, and I can already see something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Now, I can... I can tell my ships to just automatically go and kill stuff. I can tell them to engage from the fronts or the broadsides. I can tell them a range to engage from. I can tell them to choose a broadside to engage from. I can also tell them to hold fire, focus fire, which means that they will dump, they will forget any other targets, and they will fire everything after the single ship that they've been targeting. I can also do lock on. You know, what, I'm going to tell my people they can choose to lock on. And they can do reload if they want. I really should. Uh, I'm not going to do brace for impact or running silent. Okay, so these front two are moving a lot faster than this third one. So these front two are escorts, which may not survive what's about to happen. Underway. I'm trying to dodge those torps. So far so good. Understood. Good, one dead. Now if I can do a fighting withdrawal, and these are my engine controls, so you're going to see me accelerate my ships. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, hit your own guy. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Now I gotta get my guy out of effective area. Good. No. Oh. Hit by something. Hit by those torps. So he's got a fire on board. He should repair to put it out. Good. Changing course. I'm gonna turn into him. Understood. Torpedoes out, but they missed. So we're gonna ramp. So that's two ships down. Now let's get out of here for the moment and recover. Helm coordinates acknowledged. So my ships are falling back to recover at the moment. All right. Setting course. I was hoping to regenerate their shields a little. Course plotted. Engines hot. And that's a cruiser. Your orders. Ouch. But Torps broadside. That's good. Shoot. That did not work well. Alright, but we put the fire out. And that's what matters. Awaiting orders. All right, we've got 20 seconds. Helm Let's turn noise. into it. Engines to maximum. And I'm trying to avoid hitting my own ships. Nice. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Underway. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him not to fire, and I'm going to try and use these Melt-A-Torps. Changing course. All ahead full. Cruising speed set. And what I've got to do is time it just right. Course plotted. Ugh. I was close. Ow! That's a gothic, isn't it? No, it's a lunar. Okay. Lunars have lance batteries and macro batteries, which is what these guys have as macro batteries. He has a lance. Let's turn in and let the lance do some damage. There we go. Lightning strike. Try and get him. Nice. I, he was trying to run away, and I canceled the warp by doing that lightning strike. Understood. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Ramming is a thing. No, nope, not necessary. Excellent. We got him. Stopping him from jumping away and blowing him up like that gets me more renown. And the renown is used to buy new ships, to upgrade your ships, to re-equip your ships. So... I got more by killing. As you can see, enemy ships killed is 23 points. Enemy ships crippled would have been less. So, my ships leveled up. I leveled up. Let's go see what this means for us. Now, this is turn-based. So, you see that there is a turn. But right now, there's nothing else for me to do here. Except for upgrade my fleet. So I will upgrade my fleet in my turn and we'll see what comes. Alright, I'm level 2, so we're going to unlock this ship and now we get a cruiser. There are five different types. The lunar we saw, which has two lance batteries and two macro batteries. These are broadside weapons. The lances tend to hit harder and do more damage. Um, the accuracy of the lances is much better. And if you look, the enemy's armor is always counted as 25%. So, more accurate, less damage, but less armor to go through, which makes them very effective. Then there's the Tyrant, which has plasma macro batteries, which have a range of 12,000 versus the standard macro of 6. The Dominator, which just has macro batteries, and a Nova Cannon. Nova Cannons are very inaccurate, high damage, but because of the range, 6,000 to 25,000, you have to use them very carefully, and I just don't feel like dealing with it. Uh, the Gothic is all lances. All lances, all the time. They are slow, but they hit hard. And there's the Dictator, which has Ordnance Launch Bays and Macro Batteries. And I'm going to go with this so that we can add a little bit of variety. Because we've already got some torpedoes, we've got a lance, we've got Macro Batteries. Let's, let's just add some Fighter Bays. So we're going to do the same upgrade we did on the other ship. The uh, first Dauntless, we added the Voss Pattern Void Shields to avoid 25 to, for a 25% chance of avoiding damage. We're going to add that to this one. And then we've got a crew upgrade. We're going to do the same thing we did before with the Tech Priest to increase the effectiveness of our repairs. Now our new cruiser has two upgrades, or two specials that we can give him, two skills. So we're going to give him the Plasma Bomb. And then I'm going to give him a better shield recharge. 150% recharge for 10 seconds. Okay. And now back to the Gothic Sector. Our new and expanded fleet. There is nothing else to do for this turn, so we're going to intern and see what happens. Our supply lines are being raided by Orc pirates. Several reports indicate that the Greenskins are harassing our forces, keeping them off balance. Admiral Spire, your orders are to escort an important Imperial convoy of equipment and food to Bladen. This world is suffering from the predations of the pirates, and millions will starve if these supplies don't reach their destination. Okay, so we have a mission here. Convoy escort. Now, we could go back to Port Mall, 
there is a cruiser clash here, but this is top priority, and I'm not given a choice. The supply so let's go in. Is awaiting the arrival of your fleet to begin it. Alright, that's just introducing the orcs, but it is very loud. And I've tried turning it down. Alright, I have 143 left. I can take this guy, and then take a destroyer. But which one just got... This is what we're going to do. All ships. We have reached the zone of space where the orc pirates are known to lurk. Stay alert for any enemy ships. Acknowledged. My convoy ships are packed to the brim with supplies. If we lose more than half these ships, our mission will fail and Bladen is doomed. If we split up the transport ships, we have a better chance of getting through the orc pirate patrols. Nope, not doing that. Okay. What I'm going to do, because I know it works, is I'm going to take my convoy and I'm going to put it as tightly packed as I can over here, as far away as I can. We'll put the destroyer back behind because it's so fast. We'll put the heavy your cruiser there, then the lighter cruiser behind, Admiral, and we're ready. Many enemy ships are converging on the convoy. These must be and the cross. Old pirates. Now, you skins don't understand strategy. Do the orc ships are likely to close in at short range and rely on their tough front armor. So well. The orcs are also eager to fight. These savages will try to board our ships, and they won't hesitate to ram anything in their way. All ships, prepare for battle. Alright, now what I'm going to try and do, and this is going to light them up and draw the orcs in, I'm going to have my convoy go full out to try and get distance. Now when this runs out, it's going to take forever to recharge. However, if I stop right before it runs out, it will recharge fairly quickly. Cruising speed set. And now you'll see, they're still up here with the light cruiser. Uh-oh. Awaiting orders. Helm coordinates acknowledged! Shoot. Oh, this That was bad. Okay, transports, get out of here. Turn into him. have two attack ships, so let's keep this going. At your command. Execute high energy turn. All ahead full. Cruising speed set. Every ship you can find. 
Oh, that went badly. Disengage. The orcs have the convoy supply, and we can't lose any more ships to these pirates. Well, that that was bad. Alright, that's gonna be some bad fallout, I think. We're gonna have to see what we can do about that. The failure of your mission has caused unexpected consequences for the Gothic sector. Yeah, no shit. The starving people on Bladen have begun a revolt, and the entire planet is now considered in rebellion against the Imperium. The sedition you set out to fight has... I shall not fail you again. Okay, so we've got an enemy convoy coming into Bladen. Let's see if we can do anything to fix our ships. Yes, we can. Good. We're going to continue with our let's make them invulnerable upgrades. And we want our squadrons out faster. Alright, we need to try and turn things around at Bladen. I'm not sure how many missions I'm going to be able to complete. Um, I'd really like to deal with the one here in Port Mall. But... Nope, not the right button. I kind of need to ensure that we don't lose too much territory. So we're going to go to Bladen. Alright. Our job is to destroy transport ships. The problem I'm going to have is I have no idea where the transport ships are going to be. I can be fairly certain that they're going to be spread out. The exact opposite of what I did. But, we're just going to drop our ships here in the middle. Engines hot. And head towards them. I don't care if I'm identified. The key here is getting there fast. Setting course. Your orders. We are the Imperial Navy. Cruising speed set. Alright, one dead. Enemy ship sighted. All ahead full. Cruising speed set. Your orders. Initiate emergency repair. The problem is I've gotta catch up to that thing. Enemy ship sighted. 
Cruising speed set. Orders received. Changing course. Engines to maximum. Reporting successful boarding action. Underway. Your orders. All ahead, full. Cruising speed set. Helm coordinate to knowledge. Speed set. Well, just to break the hell out of him if you have to. Sometimes, the best answer is to use yourself as a torpedo. A big, heavy torpedo. Works to, to me, and it worked perfectly. I did it here. Worked perfectly. I win! Woo! Maybe that will turn the tide at Bladen and buy me some forgiveness. We'll see. Now hopefully I can get another mission in before it forces me to end turn, because I really want to try and push back. Okay. We've got this cruiser clash in Port Mall. No, nope, no more deployments. Alright, so I have to end turn. I can't deploy again. If I get two deployments per session, per turn, I might be able to do something. Alright, nothing else to do at the moment. Not losing too much ground yet, but we'll have to try and turn that around. Let's we'll see what the next turn brings. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. Lord Admiral Ravensburg believes that we can learn something of our enemy's strategy by infiltrating a Chaos Command ship recently identified by Inquisitor Horst's agents. I am to find this ship, board it, and bring back any clues I can find about the invaders' plans. Now is my chance to ensure their faith in me was not misplaced. This sounds bad. Admiral Spire, I am assigning you a mission of great importance. A formidable chaos fleet is massing for an attack. Inquisitor Horst's agents have identified the enemy flagship and confirmed that it contains vital information about... Lord Admiral, by placing me in command of a fleet... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to seize the data with an assault action and disengage, which means I've got to hit the ship and then get the hell out. We've confirmed the pre All right, we'll try this and we'll see what happens. Admiral, your fleet has reached the Chaos flagship's last known position. It is vitally important that you capture the enemy's plans from that vessel. Everything you Imperial lapdogs believe is nothing but a lie. Your false emperor will never reward you for this battle. He will not even know of your sacrifice. No, I know he won't, you because he's a corpse Emperor's sitting in a chair. And forever sealed your fate. Very well, Admiral Lapdog. Okay, Sir, target. One of our ships must board the target to seize the plans. I have no idea where the target is. Old troops have been briefed about a potential location of the plans on the enemy ship. So we've got to do boarding Just bring actions. us in a boarding range and we will do our duty. There's the target. Changing course. All right, now to do the boarding action, I actually have to get close. Cruising Why speed am set. I? Why am I moving so slow? What did I do? Cease fire. <sighs> the hell control is that? Slow motion. That's what it is. Slow motion. Which is not at all what I want. I don't Course want slow motion. It. Get in there. Our borders are 
orders. Alright, I need you to get into range, and I need you to keep distracting. Yes, just keep running into the asteroid. Oh. I love it when pathing goes my way. Underway. Shit. The plans are ours. Oh, excellent. No, you won't. You're dead. Woohoo! <laughs> I thought I'd blown him up. Oh. So much better when you don't blow up your enemies when you need to. Alright. Yay, our ship's leveled up. Woohoo! More upgrades. Woo! We need them. <laughs> uh. Admiral, the plans you recovered from the Chaos flagship are written in some kind of code. That's fine. So I can either try and push the orcs back here, or I can go to Port Mall, and I can try and push the orcs back here. If I can hit the orcs here, I might be able to actually drive them out of the sector. Which would buy me time. But if I go here... Hmm. Alright, let's go to Port Mall Station. And then I definitely want to target the orcs because I want to knock them out of the area. But I think we'll have to do that next time. In the meantime, let's get our crews upgraded where we can. Again, we want more fighters, and we want more repair. Alright. But, we will decide our next battle next time, and we will start with a fight. So, until then, um, we will take a quick look. Until then, we will take a quick look at some of the other options. Um, so far you've seen three races. The Imperials, Chaos, who I just fought, and the Orcs. If we go in here to the skirmish, though, you can see that there are six races, and all of them are very different. Uh, the Imperial Navy is a good slogger. They, they will sit and fight. Same with the Space Marines. They can both just duke it out. The thing with the Space Marines, though, they are very cannon heavy and bomber heavy. So you need to be willing to use guns that are inaccurate and bombers that are going to be your primary hitting. Where the Imperial Navy uses a lot of torpedoes. Chaos has the range. Their ships are longest range and they're pretty fast. The Eldar are the fastest. They are very maneuverable. Um, 
but you have to keep them moving constantly. They, they will just stop. And if they stop, their defenses become less effective. The more they move, the more defensive they are. Speed is life for them. Uh, the orcs... I've not actually played the orcs, really. Um, they say they're very customizable and very resilient. They are... Their, their ships are designed in a large way to ram constantly, but they are very, very ponderous. The Tau, um, you bring in the Tau and you get a lot of extra ships. And they have really powerful lances, and their ships tend to be really well armed. And they have really good torpedoes. But maybe next time, or maybe some other time, we'll take a look at some of these races, fight a skirmish. But for now, that's where we'll leave it. Until next time... Uh, good luck in your own space games and happy gaming.